This week's robotics updates are actually insane. We've got Tesla's Optimus robot running for the first time, Disney making a real walking Olaf, China putting robot cops on the streets, and even an AI that can build furniture just because you say so. It seriously feels like we've jumped a few years into the future overnight. So yeah, this episode's gonna blow your mind. Let's get into it. Our first update is a huge one from Tesla. They've released a new video showing the Optimus robot jogging inside a lab, a major leap from its earlier slow walking pace, now moving at a human-like 5 miles per hour, which is exactly the kind of mobility a real factory robot needs. For those who don't know, Optimus, the Tesla bot, is designed for general labor tasks, and at Tesla's Gigafactories, it can already pick up battery cells and place them into trays, carry boxes, sort different objects using its cameras, and even self-correct mistakes by adjusting an action just like a human. Elon Musk's long-term vision goes far beyond just building a cool robot. He wants to solve global labor shortages and create an age of abundance, where unlimited robotic workers make goods extremely cheap, turning physical work into a choice rather than a necessity. Tesla hopes to mass-produce Optimus in the millions, similar to their cars. As of late 2025, Optimus is basically a factory intern, and each update makes it more capable, while Musk eventually wants it to become a full home assistant that can fold laundry, cook meals, clean, mow lawns, shop for groceries, and even help elderly people. While these goals sound impossible today, robotics is moving insanely fast, especially with countries like China already deploying real robots on their military borders. And what's even crazier is that Musk says Optimus could cost just $20,000 to $30,000 cheaper than a Tesla car, with future versions capable of building more robots and even working with Tesla's flying car projects. If Tesla manages to bring Optimus to market by 2026, robotics will enter a completely new era. Now, bro, you've definitely seen those memes saying we'll get a flying car before GTA 6. And honestly, it might actually be true because Elon Musk's so-called flying car project is real, just not in the way people imagine. It's not a car with wings, it's the upcoming Tesla Roadster, a super expensive electric sports car that gets its flying ability from an optional SpaceX package, which adds 10 cold gas rocket thrusters around the car, the same type used on SpaceX rockets, allowing it to accelerate insanely fast, turn almost instantly, and even hover or perform short hops off the ground. Elon has hyped this car harder than any other Tesla product, saying it will be crazier than every James Bond car combined, do 0 to 60 miles per hour in under one second, might not even be considered a normal car, and will redefine what a vehicle can do. But the huge delays happened because Tesla kept pushing the design to be the most mind-blowing demo ever. The project isn't canceled, just extremely hard, because making a road-legal, rocket-assisted car is risky, so the real production model may not hit roads until 2027 or 2028, but the 2026 demo is almost guaranteed. So, yeah, the joke might actually come true. We may really see Elon's flying roadster before GTA 6 drops. Another cool update in the robotics world. Serve Robotics, the company behind those small yellow food delivery robots you often see rolling around on sidewalks, has expanded its service to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And there's more. They've officially acquired Vayu Robotics, a company that builds smarter and cheaper AI systems for autonomous machines. This means Serve's delivery robots are about to get faster, safer, and a lot more efficient. So if you live in downtown Fort Lauderdale or around Las Olas Boulevard, don't be surprised if a little robot cooler rolls up to your doorstep with your food instead of a human driver. And this next update is something kids are going to absolutely love. Disney has actually built a real-life robotic Olaf from Frozen that can walk around freely, talk to guests in real time, and move exactly like the animated character, complete with wobbling, clumsy steps, and even removable arms and nose. This breakthrough happened because Disney, NVIDIA, and Google DeepMind teamed up. Disney created Olaf's body and personality, NVIDIA supplied the powerful GPU brain using its project GROOT robotics platform, and Google DeepMind built a virtual training simulation called Newton, 
where a digital Olaf practiced walking millions of times using the Mujikoko physics engine before the skills were transferred into the real robot. Disney plans to bring these robots to Disneyland Paris and Hong Kong Disneyland around 2026 in the world of frozen areas. So if you have kids, they're going to lose their minds when they meet a walking, talking Olaf in person. Our next robotics update comes from MIT, and this one is straight up futuristic. MIT has developed a new system called Speech to Reality, which basically allows a robot to build real objects like furniture using only voice commands or text prompts. In their official demo, someone simply told the robot, I want a simple stool. And the machine not only understood the instruction, but actually assembled a real stool right in front of them. The process is wild. You give a verbal or written command, the AI instantly generates a visual design, and then the robot converts that design into a physical object. In another demo, a person asked for a two-tiered shelf, and the robot accurately built it step by step. Honestly, this tech has massive potential for the manufacturing industry. Imagine building furniture, tools, or components instantly just by describing them. This could be revolutionary for factories, warehouses, and even home workshops in the future. The next update is both funny and scary at the same time. Engine AI's CEO, Zhao Tongyang, actually let his T-800 humanoid robot kick him in the chest, and the kick looked shockingly realistic, like a proper MMA-style strike. Many people online had claimed the company's earlier robot videos were CGI because the movements were too smooth, so he put on protective armor and took a real kick to prove the robot is 100% physical and incredibly strong. Engine AI's robots come in two main versions, the SE-01, which walks with natural, human-like heel-to-toe steps instead of the usual bent-kneed robot walk, and the T-800, which is built like a tank using metal alloys and designed to withstand or deliver heavy impacts. In short, the CEO let the robot kick him to prove it wasn't CGI, and the team kicked the robot back to show its balance. A wild publicity stunt, but one that clearly demonstrates their robot is strong, stable, and ready for real-world challenges. And another update from China. Recently, they rolled out a new AI traffic police called Hangxing No. 1, which started operating on December 1, 2025 at a busy intersection in Hangzhou. This robot is fully equipped with eyes, HD cameras that instantly detect violations like no helmet, red light jumping, or jaywalking, arms, mechanical signals that move exactly like a real traffic cop, and a voice that politely warns people the moment they break a rule. For example, it immediately tells jaywalkers, please step back, do not cross now. It's also connected directly to the city's traffic control system, meaning it reacts instantly when a light turns red or green. Based on the first week of testing, it's actually working. It catches violations instantly, people obey it because it looks high-tech and authoritative, and it still has human backup nearby to issue real tickets if someone ignores it. Honestly, China's robotics progress is getting incredible. In some areas, they're advancing even faster than Tesla right now. The next update is about NVIDIA, which is gearing up for a massive GPU technology conference expected on March 26, 2026, where CEO Jensen Huang is rumored to reveal the next-generation Project Groot chips, essentially the future brains for humanoid robots. Groot is basically like the Windows or Android of robotics. Without it, a robot is just metal that needs manual coding for every tiny movement lift arm 10 degrees, but with Groot, the robot can understand English, physics, and real-world tasks. So you can simply say, make me a sandwich, and the system figures out all the finger movements, slicing, gripping, and coordination automatically. This update could be a game-changer because NVIDIA is currently facing serious competition as companies worldwide are trying to build their own AI chips. So if this Groot announcement is as big as expected, it might be the moment NVIDIA bounces back and reclaims the robotic spotlight. That's it for today's video, guys. The robotics world is getting absolutely insane with these updates, and this week proved just how fast the future is moving. And trust me, there are even more crazy AI updates coming up, which I'm already preparing for my next video. So thanks Thanks for watching, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.